How to integrate of the Catalyst 9800 controller with Aruba ClearPass and this Microsoft Active Directory to deliver dot one X authentication to wireless clients in a Flask Connect deployment. In a typical enterprise deployment with multiple branches office, each branch office is set up to provide dot one X access to the corporate employees. In this lab, the PEAP is used to provide the DOM one x access to uh, corporate users via clear pass deployed in uh, the central DC. Um, machine search is used in conjunction with a verification of the employee credentials against uh, Microsoft's AD server. And in this lab, we will deploy the 9800 is leveraged to create the necessary profiles and tags to provide dot one x access to enterprise branches. The first thing I will do add a server for, um, C, uh, called CPPM Corp. This is our ClearPass server. And this would be was ClearPass IP. And remember put a key for radius and apply. In the next, we create a server group. Choose our clear path server. And at this time, I will choose the right interface to, for my source uh, interface to the radius uh, to, to the radius uh, clear path server. Do a short run. My clear path group is right here. And I'll make sure I will use the source interface for radius to kick the ethernet one. Okay. Also for the next, I uh, will configure our AAA methods on syndication. And make a new, add a new name call .1x authentication type will be dot one key click apply the next I uh, will create our WLAN the new WLAN name will be WP Corp one Security. I will just keep as a default. In the AAA, I will choose the radius authentication profile. Click apply. For the next, I will go ahead to create our policy. Policy name just use the PB Corp. Policy profile for Corp. Cancel central authentication. Enable central authentication. Cancel central switch. Cancel central DHCP. Sure, enable. Uh, access policy. VLAN, we'll use AA. It's the old uh, VLAN. Next, we'll apply to the profile. For next, we'll create a tag. Tag name PT policy tag branch. And we'll 
add the blend to policy mapping. Okay, get blend. Also, I'll make sure I have a uh, EP join profile for branch. I will configure here. Next, well, we'll create a flash policy. The flag profile is called P branch. We'll make sure flags for branch. Under VLANs, we'll add VLAN. The first one, uh, corp data, this will be A. Save and I'll create say guest That's it. Click uh, apply. For the next, I uh, will create our site tag. Site tag will be SD branch 01. So site tag or branch. TV profile uncheck enable local site will pick our flags profile just like that click apply Let's go next we'll create our RF tag for our branch Typical client density, typical client density, 2.4 gig, apply. And we lastly will go pick up our AP and choose the branch tags. Click update. Now we're ready to add Cisco WSC to our um, clear pass. When the name, well, of course, it is Cisco. And I'll change the port 1700 for Cisco COA port. In Aruba, it's called dynamic authorization. That's also fine. Just click add. Next, we'll go sources. We already added demo AD. As you can see here. Um, For next, we just create all of our um, services. Service will be 8.1x was, which will make name uh, Cisco, Cisco, dot one. Things I choose an as port type, um, we're going to create call NAS IP address. Make sure it equals to our controller the IP. So for that, I'll go to authentication, remove CN check for EPTS and also we gonna just make sure we add a TOS and move up 
for stickation stalls, we just use our demo AD. And we can just go ahead, save it. We should go ahead with a test, use a password, if fast, that's a loud protocol. Demo user one. You just gain IP in the VLAN 80A. And monitor, we're gonna extra checker. We will see if our X checker and the lock is right here. And the input, we can see all the AB peers from sent from the controller. And output is allowed in a default profile. And service, Cisco DAW1X service. Thank you for watching.